Welcome to Tri-County Allied Health School's video on medical coding versus medical billing, differences between the two roles and how they work together. Many people use the term medical coder and medical biller interchangeably, but they are not the same. While in some positions they share many similarities, medical coders and medical billers have very different roles that require different training and skills. So what do medical coders do? They are responsible for transforming documented descriptions of diseases, conditions, and procedures into alphanumeric codes for proper reimbursement. They must have knowledge of medical terminology, anatomy and physiology, pathophysiology, pharmacology, reimbursement methodologies, and ICD-9 and CPT coding. They must have an expertise in reviewing and assigning accurate medical codes for diagnoses, procedures, and services performed by the providers. They must also have the knowledge of medical coding guidelines and regulations, including compliance and reimbursement. So what about medical billers? Medical billers are responsible for the processing, submitting, and following up on claims with third-party payers and or patients for payment of the services rendered by the healthcare provider. They must have knowledge of medical terminology, anatomy and physiology, legal and compliance issues, CMS 1500 claim forms, ICD-9, CPT, and HCPCS. Medical billers must also understand the different types of health insurance plans, applying payer policies, including local and national coverage determinations for successful claim submission, basic knowledge of coding guidelines, navigating the varying rules and regulations of the healthcare industry, and must have an expertise in effective claim and patient follow-up and denial resolution. So how do medical coders and medical billers work together? When a patient visits a healthcare provider, the doctor writes down a formula known as SOAP, S-O-A-P, Subjective Objective Assessment and Plan. This notes symptoms, diagnoses, and treatments in the patient's chart. The medical record is then sent over to the medical coder. It is the medical coder's responsibility to review the chart and translate the provider's documentation into ICD-9 and CPT codes according to specific coding guidelines. Once the coder has completed coding a patient's chart, all those codes are entered onto what's known as a super bill or patient encounter form and passes it along to the medical biller. The medical biller takes the information from the super bill and enters it into the medical practice software. The data is recorded onto a CMS 1500 or UBO form and is sent to the patient's insurer manually by mail or electronically. After the form has been submitted, the medical biller follows up on any claim to make sure that it is paid. If a claim is rejected, they have to find out why and take the necessary steps to solve the issue. Therefore, medical billers spend a lot of time interacting with the insurance companies and patients. A lot of the times a claim can also be denied because the medical coder did not code to the highest level of specificity. The chart is then sent back to the medical coder to be recoded and the process starts all over again. Thank you for watching the video and for more information and other videos please visit us at www.tricountyally.com or call us at 951-479-4775.